Every cat that comes into an animal shelter has a story to tell, but very few have one with as much drama and intrigue as this cat does. Spice has been at the Animal Refuge League in Westbrook for about two weeks. She's lovely. I mean, she just wants to be held. You can understand why she might be looking for affection when you start to piece together the last few weeks of her young life. Spice came to the shelter through Bob Watterson. He found her in a duffel bag outside a thrift store in Portland. I w started walking away from it after I left it on one of the tables and I noticed it moved. And I said, whoa, what's in there? Bob left his card at the desk and took Spice home. Other members of the family weren't as eager to welcome her as he was, and they ended up bringing Spice to the shelter. Normal procedure is to scan all animals for a microchip, and it turned out Spice had one. We were in a bit of disbelief when we called the microchip company, and, and they told us, and, and they were in a little bit of disbelief to learn that a cat in Maine came from Albuquerque, New Mexico in just five days. Yep, it appears Spice escaped from her home in Albuquerque on Halloween night and somehow made her way more than 2,000 miles to Maine. Did she drive with a trucker, take a train? That's a mystery, but she's no worse for wear. Listen to her. Her story is getting national attention, but Spice seems content to explore the floor and make a friend or two at the shelter. So what's next for uh, Celebrity Spice here? Getting her back home to New Mexico. The owner doesn't have the money to pay for the trip, but another pet owner is stepping up to help. John Ayers is the CEO of IDEX. Pet health is their mission, and Ayers happens to be a cat guy. Uh, this kitty has had uh, quite a miracle and I just felt that we needed to complete the story. Ayers is paying for Spice and a shelter employee to fly to New Mexico and reunite the kitten with her family. We may never know how she got to Maine, but we do know she is finding her way back home. In Westbrook, Maine, Marnie McLean, NECN.